I think we all know someone who drinks just a little too much. And if you're watching this and you're like, I don't know anybody like that, well, that's fine, but consider AA, bitch, because it's probably you. And if this past weekend taught me anything, it's that just because you see a sign that says shirt and shoes required doesn't mean pants are optional. They should put that on there. And maybe I, I should slow down on the drinking. I learned that as well. Now, I wouldn't consider myself a, a heavy drinker. I, I, I try to stay more towards the light beer. <laughs> nah, that's a lie. Uh, I, I don't drink light beer. But it's fine if you do. Gay rights. That's what they march for, so indulge. But anyways, I think the first time I realized that I had a problem was when we were leaving the grocery store one day and my four-year-old daughter was like, Dad, you forgot beer. And my wife, she was so pissed, she was like, that is so fucking sad, don't you think? Uh, yes, it's very sad. We almost forgot the beer. So I said I was going to slow down. Okay, because there's two things people don't like, and that's cold turkey and quitters. And I ain't doing it! And everything was going great. It was going so smooth. Until this past weekend. Okay? Then shit hit the fan. It all started Saturday. I went out for lunch with my wife, and I pre-gamed a little too hard. And I stood up during our meal and started singing Friends in Low Places. Which would be fine if we were at a karaoke bar. Or any Applebee's, but... Not Wendy's. Nope. They don't like to party at Wendy's. Write that down. So, at that moment, I called an audible. I switched it up. You know, trauma doll, trauma doll. No, whatever the fuck Peyton Man says, if he was a pill head. Yeah, I, at that moment, I decided I was done drinking. I wasn't drinking no more that day. So, the next day, Sunday, if you will, I went all day without drinking anything. Not even water. Now, was my wife proud of me? Not really. But I was proud of me. So I took us out to eat. I took her ass to Longhorn, bitch. Because we got it like that. Actually, we just got a few gift cards for Christmas. But when we got there, I was like, you know what? I've been so good the past 27 hours that I think I deserve a drink. But if you know anything about alcoholism or fun people, you know that the A in A drink is an independent variable. Which means it could be anything, you know, a 2, a 3, a 14. I don't fucking know. I never passed an algebra test. I also never passed a sobriety test, so they're the same. But anyways, I get hammered, my wife's pissed, and I'm doing anything I can to get back on her good side. But nothing's working. I even got her that Wild West shrimp she likes so much. And she said that would have been a nice gesture if I hadn't got it off someone else's table. But they were gone, and they barely even touched it. Like, do you think these gift cards are about to cover all these drinks and an appetizer? I mean, come on. Now, as if I wasn't nuisance enough, they sat this couple down beside us who had a small child. Very loud, very annoying, ruining everybody's night. And that was my job. He just needed his ass whooped, you know, just a little, <laughs> and he'd have been fine. Now, I didn't whoop his ass, but I wanted her. Things got really quiet, my wife and I was like, oh my god, maybe he, he whooped his ass. So we look over, and the man had him up by his arm. He was just, cha, 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 cha. and at first, me and my wife were like, yeah, whoop his ass. But then he kept going, and then his wife started crying. I was like, damn, it's kind of a lot. Well, I can see the look of concern in my wife's eyes, and I'm like, oh my god, this is my moment. You know, my chance to win her over. So my drunk ass gets up, and I'm like, don't worry, I'm gonna say something to him. He's a bad guy, he's gonna stop it. The dude's still going at it, too. He's just, cha, 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 cha. And I was just like, hey, you stop abusing that child, okay? And then I went running at this motherfucker like I was a cameraman for Chris Hansen. I laid his ass out. Okay, everybody in there gathered around us and they just looked shocked like, damn. I was like, yeah, he's a monster. But they were looking at me. I didn't get why they were looking at me like that. Hell, I thought I was a hero. But as it turns out, he wasn't performing child abuse. He was performing the Heimlich. His child was joking. So, fuck. The only thing that saved me from any charges was the fact that 
me landing on his tiny torso was enough to dislodge the carrot from his windpipe. My wife blamed the whole thing on me drinking too much, but that doesn't seem fair. This seems like God's plan, you know? Like, I'm still a hero. But trying to tell her that was like trying to sell condoms to Jim Bob Duggar. She wasn't buying that shit. Oh well. Still gonna drink, though.